Hello everyone, hello again. Do you know, it is so nice to see you and thank you so much for clicking on this little clip. First of all, I have got some exciting news. We have got a brand new Tattered Lace Animal video. Um, it's not even a video, it's a USB. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh dear, that set the scene, hasn't it? <laughs> today I'm gonna to have a whole day of filming and it's still very early anyway let's carry on with this um, I hope you're gonna have a really good day now because I know that I am because if it starts off happy then it's always a good day so this is the Animal Kingdom USB and first of all what you've got on here are all the designs from Tattered Lace now they haven't been on a USB before so this is the first time that you'll have had them as SVG cutting files. So these are gonna work on your scan and cut. We've included the Charisma, and I'm just gonna show you how many there are. So we've got everything from a little bird told me to all dressed up. We've got the baby elephants. We've got, um, we've got peacocks. We've got little uh, bows and birds. There is everything on here. And that is just the start. So look how many, this many, loads. And it's got some of my favorites. So first of all, it's got the little animals peeking through the paper. Can you remember when we did those as dyes? I can't remember how much they were. I think they were about $14.99 each. You've actually got three of those on this and they've never been on, on USBs before. And you can see each of the individual designs, of course you can resize them and you can take the Charisma into Minecraft Studio. I've got a selection of the pieces printed out and I want to show you how they're all going to work together. So, first of all, these. There is one of the most beautiful peacocks that we've got. And then, these are the other elements that go with it that are going to allow you to either decoupage or layer up the design. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and just show you each of them how you're going to get a different look and feel. I'm going to swap out the bird and the peacock and I'm going to pull this one in and now I'm going to show you another little thing that I think would look really fabulous if we cut our peacock feathers more than once and we then use them over the tail feathers that is going to look really really effective but we can also use these to create a frame around the bird that we're creating there so I'm going to move those out of the way and then let's take a look at some of the others so here are our little bunnies that we've got. And again, they can be decoupaged up. The nice thing about these is if you put him or her on a different colored cardstock, the color of the little dots is gonna come through the paper. I'm gonna move those out of the way and show you our hair. And our hair is there having a cup of tea. He's already again to be decoupaged with that layering so that Remember, if you put this onto Pro Paper or Super Smooth, you can actually shape the design. And I'd be shaping him so that his jacket has got a nice little bit of movement. But why not take his ears and shape those so that they are coming up the other way? So when I place him on top, you really can start to see, if I lift this up for you, you'll see how the ears have got that little bit of movement there and his jacket has got the movement at the bottom. So it's really not flat, it's no longer flat, but it isn't actually shaped with de real definition. It's just a gentle curve. So there's there. These are our hairs gazing at the moon. And again, I think they look absolutely fabulous. Makes me wonder what they're thinking. Is it made of cheese maybe? So let's move those. We've got some more little bunnies for you, a whole selection of them. And each of them, again, we've got different pieces of decoupage that we can use. So we can have them, the two of them talking together. And then our other little bunny, well, this one's just coming, following along, but they're all having a little chat. So I'm gonna move those out of the way. And then let's move to something completely different. So we've got the flowers and we've got the butterflies. And our butterflies can be over the top of the design. 
I've got bumblebees in different sizes and you of course you can be resizing these you can you've got different bees and different bumblebees and then I can snip into my design and I'm going to take off my little um, butterfly and I'm going to put my little bumblebee just over the top and here is a whole set of different bees in different, di different directions with different orientations so that they can all be part. There it's like a, a honey fest all making up their, their honey and collecting the pollen. I'm going to take those away and change it so that I've got another one of my butterflies. A different one here. Let's move the butterflies and bring in a ladybug. So there, all oh, this time of year, the ladybugs all come inside as well. So there they are. There are little ladybugs. I'm just going to show you that one. So there. Now I'm going to move all of those and we're going to come into the sea. And I'm going to show you what happens when we get here. And we've got dolphins. Oh gosh, they are beautiful. <gasps> that reminds me of a story. That's why I love crafts so much. It reminds me of all the things in life that have been special to us. Do you know it's that time where we actually get time to ourselves and we don't have to think about what's happening in the world or all the other things that make us sad or stressed or um, that's his little flipper there. So when I was younger, much younger, I used to, um, I learned to paint and I'm having a huge amount of fun at the moment teaching the team here at IHOP and in fact I'm going to do some more painting videos for you because I want you to be able to see everything. So look at those, don't they look fabulous? And um, as part of that I actually won a competition. I didn't, don't normally even enter competitions but I won this competition. It was all about being able to teach people and teach craft and so I had to teach quite a lot of people, in fact 3,000 people but the prize was worth it because we got to go on a cruise. So the lovely company that I was doing all the teaching for sent me on a cruise as a big thank you and it was a massive thank you. I was so, I couldn't believe how lucky I was because every minute of the teaching I'd really really enjoyed just like talking to you. and. Um, I went to book some day trips with my sister and we were there and we booked this first day trip and I didn't really think very much about the cost of it but it was quite expensive. It was a little bit more than I thought it was going to be and then when we got to the end to get the ticket they handed us this book and it was bigger than this and it actually and funnily enough I found it at the weekend when I was cleaning things out. They handed us this book and it said Paddy learn to dive and I thought I've booked a boat trip not learn to dive. Well, I got kicked out of the class for cheating because I didn't realise that it was actually a proper class. And so my sister was helping me and I got told off. So that was it. They said that was cheating. I was like, we're just having a chat. So, and it turns out it was a proper class. And I didn't realise because I'd been sunbathing. So I hadn't actually really read the book or anything else. I still thought we were going on a, on a boat trip and the diving was optional. <laughs> after that I took it a bit more seriously and we qualified to do just a very small dive and it was probably only from the ceiling of this roof down to here but the most magical thing happened a mummy and a baby dolphin swam right round us and the diving instructor and I am absolutely rubbish with names but I remember him to this day and it wasn't because he was fit and hunky it was just because he was good <laughs> a guy called a young lad called um, Stephen Slade. So Steve Slade, I bet he doesn't craft, but if he ever, ever watches this, I do remember that moment. And he said in all the years that he'd been diving, he had never, ever experienced that. And it's given me goosebumps. But this dolphin and this baby not only brought back that memory, but this would be the first design that I'd choose to cut from this USB. Which one's going to be your first? Don't miss it. Make sure you tune in.